I'm getting good at that. <laughs> so um, my largest um, problem with the drug policy movement, uh, reform movement is definitely infighting. I feel like there is a lot of organizations that are after the same concept, but once we start and actually go down a path, we can't agree on anything, and it all becomes a glory game, and I feel like if you're in for glory, you're in the wrong movement. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, to go along with a lot of what a lot of other people have said so far, um, my biggest disagreement with the movement as a whole is um, attitudes within our movement. Um, something I'm so proud to like, be a part of is because we have so many open-minded, just really beautiful people in this room. And I mean, I wouldn't be here really without those people. But I've been really disappointed sometimes with the stigmas associated with what I think we've all heard of the argument, hard drugs. It's really dividing um, our entire movement, I feel. But um, I think we really need to watch inflammatory language and take a approach of nonviolent communication. All right, kind of an issue that I see is um, being content with your own situation is not that bad. So uh, two years ago, me and a bunch of people from UConn went down to San Fran to help pretty much prepare that entire conference. And I was kind of surprised to find out that we didn't have a really strong presence in California. Like there weren't that many chapters and the Northeast had more. And a lot of the reason for it was because California, the laws weren't that bad. And so the chapters weren't really motivated to do it. And we need to make sure that we work on all drugs and keep the general uh, issue in mind. Um, for me, the issue is the misunderstanding on the imagery of representation in the, on, on, on our class and society um, about uh, what really goes on in the war against drugs is the representation of the people who impact these policies and the actual policies that go on in the inner city that are failed and are really impacting people who really affect um, the most upon this. So I think SSDP and the drug policy movement as a whole has two main problems. One is a serious confidence issue, and number two is an inability to do outreach to communities that we really want to do outreach to. And I think the confidence thing plays into our messaging and it plays into our infighting. Because there's so many people that believe as activists that we're second class activists for drug policy for some reason that is really all in our heads. And what we can do as board members is actually dissolve that idea that we are second class activists. And being able to actually outreach to these communities that we're having trouble doing is probably going to be the number one thing when it comes to rhetoric and messaging all these things, we need to take some time to figure out how we're going to do it. I've seen this on the local level. I think sometimes too much effort is spent on preaching to the choir. Um, I think that recruitment at con concerts and tabling and things like that are really important and we get some of our strongest members involved with SSDP through events like that. But if you're trying to actually win, for example, the Ohio Medical Cannabis Amendment, if that gets on the ballot, we want votes. We need to talk to people who don't already agree. Um, I guess I would say, firstly, I think that it's impossible to say that one would disagree with the movement because the movement is so complex. So I'm going to instead say certain parts of the movement because I don't think you can bumper sticker the whole movement. Firstly, um, I would say that I think that I think as scholars, as students, we don't we need to move beyond just being like, oh, the drug war is bad, so I'm going to go change some stuff. We have to be really interested in personal development and studying why other people get involved in scholarship. And real quickly, I love everyone, but uh, we got to be careful of the color green and smokeouts and stuff because it, it hurts us. It, I would, it put me off before I got involved. And there's, there are me's out there who really are with you guys.